Morning, Neil. Sean here in the heart of London. Thank you as ever for your company. Welcome all brand new subscribers too. It's always a pleasure to have your company. Now today I thought we'd look at a statue story simply because they're big news right now. As you know, if we're not covering them up, we're claiming to tear them down because they offend someone. Now this statue at the side of me here literally is of course the Albert Memorial in memory of Prince Albert. Now it was commissioned by Queen Victoria herself it took over 10 years to make in that gothic style and it was around about in that day £120,000 and that was all paid for by the public who apparently adored Albert that much. That's a lot of money when you think about it. But the bigger problem we have in London right now is this one. Now over at St Thomas's Hospital in the heart of London their founder has a statue outside the hospital which has been there for over 264 years but in this brand new submission of looking at statues that may offend people particularly the Black Lives Matter movement they've been requesting for it to be moved inside where it's less offensive or taken down entirely. Absolutely ridiculous I'm sure you'll agree. The statues are part of our history whether we like the story behind them or not they're a stark reminder as to what's gone before us, good and bad. And I certainly think it makes people think about our history, particularly the wonderful English heritage that we have. We're not perfect, but what country is? But of course, this particular statue, as ever, under our latest London Mayor, has to be reviewed. But now, that's hit a problem. The bigger problem is this, that the statue is Grade 2 listed, so it simply can't be moved. The only way that it could be moved would be by our British Prime Minister, Boris Johnson, who apparently is such a fan of these statues that that won't simply be happening. Now, I do applaud this particular, well, outcome, because as I say, whether we like the stories that are attached to the statues or not, what you have to remember is they make up our history, and our history moving forward is what makes Britain great, as does many countries around the world. Celebrate your history, don't be dictated to by those that want to eradicate it. Neil Sean, in the heart of London.